We all know GTA 6 graphics is going to be insane, but just take a look at this. I made Cyberpunk 2077 graphics photorealistic looking as good as the upcoming GTA trailer, or even better. It's all thanks to the amazing mods made by the game community, and I'll show you step by step how I made the game look this good. So there's no doubt the vanilla Cyberpunk 2077 graphics already look really great. The game's visuals are a blend of high-tech neon lights and a grimy, lived-in world, reflecting the cyberpunk genre's themes of high-tech and low life. A smog and air pollution are prominent elements in the game's atmosphere, often casting a hazy, yellowish or orange tint over the cityscapes, especially during sunrise and sunset scenes. And while it really fits the game's atmosphere, it certainly doesn't look realistic. And to change that, the first mod we will use is Novalut, made by The Cyanidex. It enhances visuals with a natural palette, using AGX Color Space to bring lifelike color to Night City. In addition to that, I'm going to install Git's 3.x mod by Bababui88. According to the mod author, it is inspired by the live-action adaptation of Masamune Shiro's Ghost in the Shell. This mod dramatically overhauls the weather and lighting, with significant adjustments to exposure for a less blinding experience, modeled after human eye adaptation, rather than a pocket camera. The more natural color grading lends itself well to digital photography. It makes the game look absolutely amazing, especially in the heavy clouds weather, which makes everything more natural, just like the overcast weather works in GTA 5. Of course, the other weather options look great as well, but it's the heavy clouds I'm playing with the most, exploring the city. I put my custom reshade on top of it to even further improve the graphics for my taste, but it's just an option, and it wouldn't look this good without the Nova loot. To be able to change the weather at any moment, I use a very handy mod named Weathermancer Weather Select Menu. As the name suggests, you can change to any weather at any time from the game's menu. It can also be used to reset or fix the weather to normal 24-hour changing weather when the game gets stuck on just one weather. Next up, we're going to change some textures to real brand ones. Blade Runner 2077 Proxima Edition mod is exactly what we need to make it possible. It is a massive overhaul of game textures creating a Blade Runner universe at every turn. So now we've got ads of brands like Coca-Cola or Taco Bell spread around the map. The mod has been in development for a couple of years now and at this point, I cannot even imagine how exhausting it must be making this and releasing so many builds. This is one of those mods that I find myself not wanting to play without since I feel it adds a certain depth and atmosphere to the environment while still feeling like all the changes the author made truly belong there. Okay, so we've introduced real brands into the game, but it's not the only textures we're going to replace. The next mod we're going to install is the Cyberpunk 2077 HD Reworked Project by Hulk Hogan. This mod, created by the author of the beloved The Witcher 3 HD Reworked Project, aims to enhance the graphics by reworking game assets to higher quality while preserving the original art style and ensuring good performance. The mod author has reworked many various environment textures found throughout Night City and the Badlands to high resolution including high-quality roads, walls, terrain, dirt, graffiti, vegetation, objects, and more. Generally, the mod doesn't impact performance if you have a powerful enough PC to run the vanilla game at a pretty good frame rate. What's even better is that there are two versions of the modification, adapted to what graphics card you have. So if you're playing on a mid-end PC, it's still okay to try out this mod. I've used the ultra-quality version of the mod, which contains the highest quality textures and offers the best visual experience. Okay, but to explore the city in this new light, we first need something to drive. The vanilla cars are okay, but if you know me, you know that I like to install real brands vehicles into GTA games, so it will be similar for Cyberpunk. The number of vehicle mods is significantly smaller than for GTA, but there are still many great vehicles made in really high quality. Most of the available vehicles are supercars and hypercars, like the Lamborghini Revuelto or Koenigsegg 1, but there are also a few exceptions, as modders have already managed to create models like the Dodge Challenger SRT, Demon, or Cadillac Escalade. There's also the Tesla Cybertruck, which probably fits the overall game atmosphere the best.
So what do you think? Are there any other mods I should try out to improve the game even further? Let me know in the comments down below. I think there's no doubt the game looks amazing considering the fact it was released back in December 2020. I'm not sure if the upcoming GTA 6 will be able to surpass this game visually with mods, and overall I don't know if such comparisons even make sense, but I'm a bit curious about it. Thanks for watching until the end of this video, have a great day everyone, and see you in the next one.